Although any random material can be used with a landscape actor, the material system inside Unreal Engine 5 provides some landscape-specific material nodes that can help improve the textures for your landscape. In this tutorial, we explain how these material nodes function, and how you can use them in your landscape materials. You can modify materials for use with landscapes the same way you modify other materials, in the material editor. So let's create a new landscape material, name it landscape and open it. So let's start with landscape specific material nodes. Inside of the material editor, there are six specific nodes that can be used with the landscape system. You can find all these nodes in the palette menu, under the landscape category. First is Landscape Layer Blend Node. The Landscape Layer Blend Node enables you to blend together multiple textures or material networks so that they can be used as landscape layers. The Landscape Layer Blend uses an array to store information about the landscape layers. To add layers to this array, select the plus sign icon. When you add multiple layers to the Landscape Layer Blend Node, the layer names populate in the Landscape Layer Blend Node. First is Layers. This contains the list of layers the node contains. You can add layers by clicking the plus icon, plus sign. Second is Additional Layers. These are what additional layers look like when they are collapsed. Third is Layer Name. This is the unique name that you give the layer. The layer name corresponds to the layer name used in Paint Mode in the Landscape Tool window. Fourth is Blend Type. This is either LB underscore Alpha Blend, LB underscore Height Blend, or LB underscore Weight Blend. Fifth is Preview Weight. This is the weight value for the layer to preview the blending in the Material Editor. Sixth is Const Layer Input. This is for supplying a numeric value as a color to use in case you do not want to use a texture. This is mainly used for debugging a layer if there is an issue. Seventh is Const Height Input. This is for supplying a numeric value as a height in case you do not want to use a texture. Let's see the details of the layer blend node inputs and outputs. First is layer that's as, layer name, for example layer soil. Each layer adds an input for the layer to blend together. This input is only available after layers are added and named in the details panel. Second height that's as, layer name, for example layer grass. This is where you supply a height map to blend with. This input is only visible on layers that have their blend type property set to LB underscore height blend. Last one is in labeled output. Landscapes use weight blending rather than alpha blending, so the blend factors for all layers at any location will add up to 1.0. Alpha blending is useful because it does not depend on order so you can paint any layer at any time. Additionally, when you use alpha blending the alpha layer weight is increased, while other existing layer weights are decreased. However, the disadvantage to using alpha blending is that when one layer is painted to 100%, the weight value for all other layers will be 0%. This is shown when using the paint tool to remove a layer that is already at 100%. Because the other layers are at 0%, the tool has nothing available to replace the 100% layer you are removing, so it appears as if the layer was not changed. Now see the various landscape layer blend types. The landscape layer blend material node has three different blend modes that you can choose from. Each different layer blend type is used when you are trying to achieve a different result. First is LB weight blend. Use if you have layers coming in from an external program, like World Machine or if you wanted to be able to paint any layer independent of one another without worrying about layer order. Next is LB Alpha Blend. Use if you want to paint in detail and if you want a defined layer order. For example, painting snow over rock and grass will occlude them, but erasing snow will reveal rock and grass beneath it. Last is LB Height Blend. This is the same as LB underscore weight blend but also adds detail to the transition between layers based on a height map. This allows, for example, dirt to appear in the gaps between rocks at the layer transition point, instead of just smoothly blending between rock and dirt. Here is an example of the LB height blend in action. 
As you can see, the dirt too appears in the gaps between rocks at the layer transition point. This way you get a nice transition where layers meet. Now let's see what's blending layers. When using certain combinations of layer blend modes you could end up with black spots all over your landscape where different layers meet. This problem is especially prevalent when using the LB underscore height blend mode for multiple landscape layers. LB underscore height blend works by modulating the blend factor, or weight, for the layer using the specified height value. When you have multiple layers painted on an area and they all are set to LB underscore height blend, it is possible that all the layers painted in a particular area will simultaneously have a zero height value, so the desired blend factor for each layer becomes zero. Because there is no implicit or explicit ordering, the result will be black spots because no layers will have any contribution to that area. The situation is worse when you are blending a normal map, because it results in a normal value of 0, 0, 0, which is not valid and will cause rendering problems with the lighting. The solution to this problem is to use LB underscore alpha blend for one of the layers like in the example below. In the left image, all layers are LB underscore height blend, causing some areas to be black. On the right, the red 1 layer has been changed to use LB underscore alpha blend, which solves the problem. Below is an example of the properties of the landscape layer blend node for all the layers being blended together. Make sure to note how the soil layer has its blend mode set to LB underscore alpha blend while the other layers have theirs set to LB underscore height blend. This is to stop the issue mentioned above, having black spots where layers meet, from happening. If you need to delete a layer, Click the drop down arrow to the right of the layer's element number to open the menu, and select delete. Next expression is landscape layer chords node. First is mapping type. The E landscape chord mapping type that specifies the orientation to use when mapping the material, or network, to the landscape. Second is custom UV type. This is the mapping place to use on the terrain. The custom UV type outputs the UV coordinates to map the material to the landscape based on the given property values. Third is mapping scale. This applies uniform scaling to the UV coordinates. Fourth is mapping rotation. This applies the rotation in degrees to the UV coordinates. Fifth is mapping pan, U. This applies the offset in the U direction to the UV coordinates. Sixth mapping pan. V. This applies the offset in the V direction to the UV coordinates. Seventh is in labeled output. This outputs the UV coordinates to map the material to the landscape based on the given property values. Next expression is landscape layer switch node. The landscape layer switch node allows you to exclude some material operations when a particular layer is not contributing to a region of the landscape. This allows you to optimize your material by removing calculations that are not necessary when a particular layer's weight is zero. Let's go through the various properties of landscape layer switch node. First is parameter name. This is the unique name that you give to the parameter. Second is preview used. This if checked, uses a preview. Third layer used. This is when the layer specified in the node's properties is in use by the current region of the landscape. Fourth is layer not used. This is when the layer is not used by the current region of the landscape and has a weight of zero. Fifth is in labeled output. This is either the layer used or layer not used inputs, depending on whether or not the layer contributes to the particular region of the landscape. Next expression is landscape layer weight node. The landscape layer weight expression allows material networks to be blended based on the weight for the associated layer obtained from the landscape the material. The weight for this layer is used as the alpha value for blending the two input networks. Let's check the properties of landscape layer weight node. First is parameter name. This is the unique name that you give to the parameter. Second is preview weight. This is the weight to use for preview purposes in the material editor. Third is const base. Here you can specify a base color here that you would like for your landscape to have. Fourth is base. This is the network to blend this layer with. 
This is generally the result of any previous layer blending, but can be empty if this is the first layer. Fifth is layer. This is the network to blend together to create this layer. Sixth is in labeled output. Outputs the result of the blending between the base and layer inputs based on the layer weights of the layers involved. Last expression is landscape visibility mask node. The landscape visibility mask node removes visible parts of your landscape, so you can create holes in your landscape to, for example, create caves. The properties of landscape visibility mask node is in labeled output. This outputs the visibility mask properties. Make sure the output is connected to the opacity mask slot of your material and that the material's blend mode is set to masked. Otherwise the node may not work correctly. Hope from this video, you will start to move into building in more advanced mechanics, in an easy to follow step by step approach, which will allow you to play around and build your own content, to eventually build your own game. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.